All right, hello and welcome to this very first playthrough of Mafia Definitive Edition. Last time we played through chapters 5, 6, 7, and 8, concluding with the sink and the sinner, where we shot up a brothel and then a church. So it was, it was the, definitely the most intense and the most difficult chapter so far. So let's see what's next. Oh, another intermezzo. Okay. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church, and I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Marillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on. Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. What does that mean? There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Cerneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betty on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Damn. Do you understand? Frank doesn't mince words. Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? 
the Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Broke the Don's nose? Give Sarah my best, Tommy. A trip to the country. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. <coughs> Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. In the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the tape. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie to meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Sounds simple enough. Why, why the ominous music and the stern tone? It doesn't seem like it's going to be that big of a deal. Just moving some alcohol? Why do I feel like it's, uh, like something's up? <clears throat> oh, we have that now? Oh, you can change the color. I just noticed that as I was... Hitting confirm. Maybe next time. There's nothing wrong with this color. There's that accident. Ladies and gentlemen, so however a good driver you may be, it's just not worth the risk to you or anyone else. It would seem the best thing to do on a night like this is to stay at home with your loved ones. I need to be careful with the radio. The, I know where I'd rather be the videos are, are getting uh, copyright struck all the hell. Um, it's not that big of a deal, but... This is fine, this isn't music. But if there's music, I need to make sure I turn the radio off. And those scheduled to arrive into that airport have been cancelled or diverted elsewhere. Now, as bad as that may sound, I love how well this car handles. ...that I've just been handed states that although the rain is heavy at this moment, and that all warnings should be... Of course, as soon as I say that. ...isn't expected to last all that long. Certainly, it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1920. 
77. High winds are pushing the storm over us at quite a rate. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on... I mean, how good is meteorology in 1933? It can't be great. Sir! No, the driver does not need finding. What? How do I get into this place? Fuck me. Well, that was dumb. Be more careful, Nick. Damn it. All right, yeah, do better. Let's try not to waste too much time. Turn the radio off. We don't need to hear that again. Why does it feel like it's even harder to drive now? Sorry, officers. That wasn't enough to get pulled over. Wow, okay. Probably not the best call to take the convertible in this weather. It's fine. We made it, we made it, we made it. Oh, the gate was closed because of the cops. Now I understand. Come on, Tom! 
Place to be. Ah, uh, you see it, Sarah, later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. going home to a couch. <laughs> now I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. I'm telling you, man, Polly's gonna stab us in the back at some point. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see Or maybe they're just setting it up to seem like that's gonna happen. It's gonna be like I'll let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Sam or Frank or somebody instead. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. Something's not yeah, right. Coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Something's up. Search for clues. One quarter out of work. Fuck, I'm playing Resident Evil 4 all of a sudden. Dead? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's dead. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! How did you miss me? Yeah. I thought I was going to get him. Are you kidding me? Whoa. I didn't know I could pull the trigger that fast. God damn it, I am missing every shot here.
Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought all of those were sh All right, we got him, we got him, we got him. We need first aid immediately. Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Is Polly behind this? Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. He looks scared. Oh, Christ. They're cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Okay, but... Are we not going to get the booze? Is the booze gone? Border Patrol. Border Patrol. These guys are the real deal. They got to be cops from the border. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make lots of heavy things look like pussy. I don't really like the shotgun in this game. The fact that you can one shot with a, a, a handgun if you get the headshot makes it a pretty good weapon. All shot in the back of the head. Must have been lined up. Poor bastard. I'm just waiting for somebody to stab me in the back, you know? George, I have it on good authority that Celieri's whiskey handover is tonight. Our mutual friend wants this line of Canadian booze coming into the city shut down. I want you and your man, men at the farm we discuss by 9 p.m. We wait through the night and tell the boys it's fine if things get rough. They can take some hooch home to thank them for coming so far south. Yeah, water cops the Morello's dirty work. Where's that health? Might as well. Can't believe I pulled that off. Oh no no no! Wait wait. I don't want the pocket revolver. I want the Tommy gun.
Oh shit. We survived. You boys stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Obviously. This is another fairly long chapter. Fairly. Oh, Jesus. Although we dicked around a lot at the beginning, so I, I guess some of that's on me. That's a lot of blood. You, you look you like you're fucked, man. No, I don't think so. Okay, okay, okay. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you gonna make it, Sam? Tommy, hmm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Is he gonna? Maybe he'll confess something into me right as he's dying. Like, look out for Polly. He's doing shit, but um, I, I just, I just have it out for Polly. I don't really like him, and I think I would be happier if he ended up being bad. We survived worse. Sure, sure we are. Well, shit. Okay. Uh. Is that a light machine gun? Oh, I thought that was an LMG for a second. Oh, just continue defending him, I see. Are you kidding me? Just go for the head, Nick. Oh, did I get him? There you go. Think I can make it to that first aid? He running at oh oh no oh that was close yeah oh check on him okay quit your bitching Sam Cops now, too? Yeah. 
Oh boy. Oh, for fuck's sake! I guess I could just camp from here. Oh, shit. Oh, are we good? Whew, I got dicey. Oh, Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Not great. Worse. Mm, he probably is. Keep an eye out. What? What are we looking for? Yeah, I've already got one. If you got more ammo, I'll I'll be happy with that. <laughs> I mean that thing looks pretty heavily armored. Those cop cars I could probably take out. Got unlimited ammo. Let's go. You think we're okay now? Yeah, you. These guys keep on coming. You got Keep going, Tommy. Looks like we made it through. I thought we were about to fail. Two squad cars on us. Our friends got company. They're getting close. Our friends got company. Where did they go? Night, <laughs> it was a dumb plan, cop. Oh, shit. Careful, careful, careful. We need to go now! Fuck, 
of shit. Sam's gonna bleed out. Destroy the turret. What? No, I need that. We had infinite ammo, Tommy. What are you talking about shoot out the windshield? There we go. Well, this town's not gonna have any police left. Okay, we're here, Tom. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. Three, I owe you. Hmm. I wouldn't say so yet, Sam. Polly, what the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. This is a long mission. The doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Doc. We'll be fine. Seems like he might actually live. Okay. I can't believe it. I figured he was dead. As soon as I saw him get shot, I was like, mm, that did not look good. Tommy and Polly are lucky. They're the only ones that made it out without getting shot. Right? I mean, well, let's be real. I got shot like 150 times. <laughs> Drive to Sarah's apartment? Oh, Jesus. We're still doing that, huh? We're just gonna sit and watch a movie? I mean, how do you wind down from that? Watch a movie. What am I saying? It's 1938. We'll be lucky if she has a radio. God, God, life must have been so fucking boring. Like, all you do is what? Talk to each other. That's pretty much all you can do. It's really all you have to do. Or work. Staying busy.
thank God I live in 2024, man. Thank God. Even If I even had to go back to when I was, like, a kid, it'd be rough. Only having three channels on the television and maybe five. No phone. There's so much of my childhood that was just sitting in places and doing nothing. Or, like, finding shit in the kitchen that I could pretend was a toy. It was so boring. With any luck, I'll never experience that kind of boredom again. And I can't imagine what it would have been like in the 30s. Are you kidding me? No wonder people wanted to drink all the time. Forget about it, man. Can't imagine what it'll be like in 50 years. Can you imagine? I'm gonna be fucking sick. I probably won't make it. I'll be 90. I don't think I'm gonna make it to 90. What's this fire? What's going on over here? Oh, I thought something was up. Was there just a car on fire over there? I'm late, I bet, right? I'm sorry. He's just reading a book. God. You're late. That's about as cold. That's about as good as you get as a book. A really good book. That's not so bad. But work. Probably Sam's. Don't touch your shirt. That shirt looks expensive. Don't touch my suit either. That 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 tone that she had when he walked in, you're late. Dinner's cold. I I know that tone very well. Not not because I I heard it a lot, but because I give it a lot. You're late. The dinner that I just cooked is cold. I do most of the cooking in the house. Chapter complete. A trip to the country. That was a hell of a chapter. 45 minutes. That was a big one. That was a big one. Omerta. Omerta. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. Uh oh. Is Sam dead? We have a mole, Tom. Oh no. no. It's Polly. Oh. Let me let me just let's cut to the chase. Dawn. All night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. It's Polly. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking for Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. It's Polly. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. Oh. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. What's my suit doing? And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. 
I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. That doesn't look good. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Sub the dog. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown. Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Yeah, how long ago did that happen? See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. All right. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Vinny! What you got for me? Tough we day gotta to keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. I look, what's that called? Lu Luperza? Luperna? Lupara. Get to Biff's pawn shop. Okay. I love this game, man. The story is excellent, dude. I haven't played a. I haven't played a game with a story this good in a minute. I say that there was some game I was just talking about that how great the story was. It was a Far Cry Three. Mm, it wasn't that though. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave Hold on a second. an account of the tragedy. He I'm pulling up a list of the, of the games I beat recently. Tanker, oh, Life is Strange 2. That was the game. That was the game that I was raving about the story with. And that is an amazing story. Life is Strange 2 has an amazing story. I don't know if this has that beat. Well, uh, they're both really good. They're both really good. Why pick favorites? But the, both those games, very, very well voiced, well acted, well written, well directed, the whole package. Uh, what's up, man? Um, I need to, uh, talk to you about some stuff. Big news lately. Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. That sounds like it was worth 40 bucks. Always a pleasure, Tommy. I'll get you that 40 later, I guess. <laughs> we definitely didn't give it to him then. Well, uh, I'll Venmo you, bro. What? Are you talking about me? Anticipation as we await the start of the big game. Our very own lost heaven lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's gold series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching. Are they talking about baseball or despite the cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the Lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Sounds like the baseball. And column inches have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of the year's yeah. standout performers. And with this series tied at 3-3, three to three, he may well be the key man that brings the Wisman Trophy back to Lost Heaven. 
but doing so will be no easy task as standing in his way is opposition captain sometimes Jack Seidel is presenting a game five turn events in favor of the Empire Bay team. Victory was canceled out by the Lancers in Game 6, and we now have a powder keg finale that is sure to have everyone glued to their radios. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven, or will the Cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. Advertisement for beer outside the window? Or on, on the side of the thing? It doesn't Everything seem okay. very smart. Little Tony, what's up, man? No, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Okay. Well, that's not good. Sounds like Frank is actually... Uh... They must have leaned on him. I bet the feds leaned on him. Told him they were going to take his family or something. That's probably why his family's gone. They're probably in witness protection, I bet. That's, uh, that's got to be what it is. Because otherwise, I mean, Frank seems like a pretty loyal dude. They must have they leaned on his family. That's the only way I could see somebody like that. Uh, rolling over. That, of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series, and it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair, and Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. My goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers. Elms, Graves, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. Kid needed the something. The cannons lineup is meandering over to the home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position, so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Armory, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. Scheduled music programs and regular news bulletins brought to you by Lost Heaven Radio. I'm going to turn the music off. <coughs> Excuse me. Looks like the place. Well, there he is. That's got to be the FBI, right?
Hail Frank and his escort. Okay. <clears throat> Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to cover what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola when you need a lift. There haven't really been any side quests as far as I know in this game. It's been very linear so far. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola. Um, I'm a little confused as to why the completion or the completionist run is 25 hours in this game. Maybe, maybe the collectibles take you a good ways out of the way or something. Or maybe later in the game there are more side missions. Or maybe there are side missions available, but you have to go off the beaten path to find them. I don't know, but I mean we've always had a mission going. It's not like we've had any time where we're just left between missions or anything, you know. As soon as we start, as soon as one chapter ends, picks up another one with a cutscene and goes right into it. It's not like we even have to drive to it to start it. So, I don't know where the side content is in this game, but I haven't found it. Not that I'm really looking. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Gotta be Nobody? Considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's betraying no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fella. 6'2, 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. That was close. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty uh, was a shit. little spooked. He They're was taking you to the airport, he Frank. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool under pressure. Not a flicker of emotion. The airport. <clears throat> he winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks an elated smile. He's thrown his cat in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series! The mission of Lost Heaven Radio, our city's public service broadcaster, is to serve you. Start your day with WLH 570. I don't think we've done a tail mission yet. We definitely haven't. They're doing a good job of mixing it up with the variety. Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. I'm not getting in there, bro. Say I'm happy. 
Police note, informant handover, 12 o'clock, we shut down airport, 1300, informant FBI escort leaves safe house, 1350, informant exchange and taken to hangar five. We get accounts book, we get accounts book after informant handed over. I don't know how important this is, but... He's some kind of gangster. Why the hell isn't he being flown out by the feds? Norello hasn't the honor to even show his face. For a rat like you? Nah. Get in the car. I can't. I'm not in control anymore. It don't sound good. Let's get him. Oh, oh fuck. Damn it. What? No. Into the car. I hit the wrong button. Okay, I guess I can't use that car. I guess I can't use any car. Does the... Do they lose? Like, can I lose them? Okay. Tom. Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of him. I did. Told him to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you coming with us? Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank, get on the plane, march. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Yeah, don't look. You guys go. Are we gonna spare him? No way. God damn you, Frank.
We got the books. I'd be lucky if that plane makes it anywhere, man. I wouldn't get in that thing for fifty thousand dollars. Look at it, it's barely taken off. This game is great, man. The story is so good. Uh, I don't, I, I don't usually go for story above all else. Um, I'm more of a gameplay guy, and this is definitely more story than gameplay. But the game, the gameplay is good. Gameplay is real good. I doubt I would have felt that way about the original. I'm kind of a baby for modern controls. With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. I feel like games like this are made for people like me that like just don't have the patience for old school controls and gameplay, but do like to play older games. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. And a copy of Gangsters Monthly. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes, Mr. Angelo. Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti you know said it, was it me. might be you who came, and to provide access. Please, follow me. Hmm. Pretty smart, Frank. Hey, do it already. Do it already. What are you looking at? I got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, Apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. What funeral? Does he think they're dead? Oh, he's he's making it look like he killed them. Pretty smart. Yeah, Frank. Hey, is that is that Sam? You're making my voice twitchy, Marku. Sergio, you when I just came oh, it's Morello. Respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time, almost as long as you. He's a good man, smart, loyal, <laughs> loyal to his wife, his kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. It's a hell of a thing. We did Omerta. I wonder what Omerta means. I have no idea what that word means. Uh, that was a pretty long, another pretty long chapter, or fairly long chapter, but let's keep going. Let's do at least one more. What was I going to do? Oh, I was going to look up Omerta. Visiting rich people. Visiting rich people. Look at these houses. Loyal to the Oath of Omerta. White picket fences. A co oh, as practiced by the Mafia, a code of silence about criminal activity and a refusal to give evidence to authorities. I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city councilor. The same. Merle <laughs> thought that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now, so am I the number two guy now that Frank's out? Do right by his buddy. Word is, 
You strike and goal with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need <clears throat> whatever Watkins has got on us. Then where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. <clears throat> Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, o capisco. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Per favore. Seems like a nice guy. Get to prosecutor mansion. Get to the prosecutor's mansion. Un po' di italiano. Il capo ti ha detto il piano. I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ciao, lady. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the boss told me. Ah, uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Entriamo dal laberinto senza farci sentire né vedere. La cassaforte è dietro un dipinto al primo piano. Dammi un po' di tempo e lascia fare tutto a me. Quella cassaforte avrà sicuramente un allarme. So, uh, security alarm? Yeah. This is gonna be alarm. He said, I think he said something to the effect of, we need to be quiet when we go in. Well, there's a security alarm. I don't know Italian, but... Okay, my turn. Do what I do. Do not get caught. See, si. You gotta keep safe. Safe? See, si. uh, It's, um... Uh, my job. Apro Casa Forte. Open safe. Oh, Casa Forte is safe. I was thinking that meant like fort or castle or something. Let's listen to the radio. Excellente. It might mean something similar to like fortress or something, though. No, 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 no. No, no radio. Sorry, sir. Not in my car. Entriamo da lì. Eh, over the wall. Labirinto. What? Vedrai. Labyrinth, oh, right? Amazing. Yeah, labyrinto. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno il labirinto. <laughs> Gunfire will raise the alarm. Still picking up the shotgun for later, though. Yeah, everybody here wants a night off, huh? Choking too loud.
This guy's the one. Oh, I'm supposed to take out the guards? All of them? I miss at least one. Oh, there he is. I think there's probably at least two more. Oh, they're on the HUD. Oh. Oh, yeah, everybody here wants a night off. Who's this guy? There's someone in the maze with us. I didn't. <laughs> that guy wasn't on the radar. So I thought maybe that was my guy, the the, the Italian dude. Does he have one of those hats on? Whatever. Over wall. Okay. Well, now I know I need to take him out as I go, so I won't have to circle back. Un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i labirinti. <laughs> I wish I could have a night off. Everybody wants a night off. Oh, there, you're off duty. Everybody wants a night off. Okay. Just going around granting wishes. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice evening for standing around, I guess. Hey, somebody actually had something different to say. That's everybody, right? That's all the guards? That was required, right? Are there more? One more? Oh, yep. Yeah. Damn it, I didn't realize he was that close. Did you already forget? Does that work? Does that count? Oh, I thought I was done. Oh god, I thought I was cooked. Find Salvatore. <laughs> that was close, man. Well, 
Ride's a pain in the ass. Sei un tipo tosto, eh? What? Come on. It's a nice house. C'è un'entrata open. What kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. A what? Ma, um, da Vinci? Uh, a painting? Hai uh, capito? Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting. See, see. Okay, I understand. Are there people in here? Guess we got another room to check. Things go bad for you. I was about to beat the shit out of her. So I don't have to. Who are you yelling for, ma'am, ma'am? Gotta be it. There. Told you to get out of here, lady. I already looked through here. Must be on the second floor. I didn't even think about that until just now. Another here, Salvatore. You'd think it would be in somebody's room, not in the middle of a hallway. beating this lady up. Alright, she's alright. I don't need you yelling help, help burglars. This looks like a good possibility. No. Oh, I guess. Oh no, this is a bedroom. What's the bathroom in it? Something's gonna go down in here because there's med kits everywhere. Not in that room. Move, Salvatore. Now we're talking. Ah, uh, uh, 
Sure. Show me what you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. Don't rush him, he's in the zone. Wow. That was extremely fast. And I call it all alarm. What? It's a polato. Doesn't matter. Come on, we need to get out of here. Vai dietro, dietro. They gotta be upstairs. The safe's in his study. I need some cover! Take it! No! Stick your stupid little head up here. Let's just go. Permission to shoot has been granted. Okay, uh, Salvatore. Are you behind me or what's up? Wait for Salvatore. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Boy, you don't seem worried at all. Officers have seen him. No in pursuit. Yeah, what do you think was going to happen, man? All right, let's go. Mm, 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 that hurts. Whatever you're saying, I know. Police? Yeah, police. Yeah, I know. Thanks for that, by the way. Risky. What? Oh, give me a break. That's just some bushes. It's not a wall. Can't believe we're not already dead. All officers, roadblock is in position. Roadblock. Yeah, I see him, dude. He's gonna get bumpy, bro. Cops are coming, we gotta keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salvatore, shut it. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandoned. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Oh, yeah. We're home. Uh, six, uh, and uh, my pole. Okay, let's go. I can drive by these guys now, right? Please? No. I thought we were 
clear, man. Can I go back up near here now? I don't think I want to be down here. Uh, this could work. Don't turn around, cop, that I'm about to pass. Alright, I think we're good. Oh shit, the music. Damn it. this close. Maybe we can get there through. Yeah, this will work. <coughs> it's a little bit further, but not too bad. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? You're kidding me. And he's turning this way? Give me a break. Alright, somehow. Well, maybe they're not looking for me anymore? I don't know. I thought that was the case the first time, but... They definitely still got alerted when I passed by them. Maybe I was just far enough away, I don't know. Chapter complete. Uh, oh, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Great deal. This is the last of the good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make <clears throat> payroll. Get it out of here. You heard him. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, 
Any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? Big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let you down, boss. Uh, give me just a sec. Telling is on that very same incredible level. It actually makes me a bit sad that I didn't I play this when it was new because myself. it probably would have been one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, but so nowadays I'm more comfortable with modern mechanics and polish, so I did find parts of this masterpiece to be a bit dated and frustrating by today's standards. Did I the combat's the solid, but a little floaty. The UI is cluttered with all kinds of stuff I don't need, and a lot of the side content, while interesting, felt unnecessary because it wasn't worth the rewards. Overall, this is maybe the best example yet of a title that deserves a god tier rank based on objective quality but won't quite get one because i'm Thank unfairly you, partial to more modern gameplay next up is flintlock the siege of dawn at number four as a huge oh whoa hold on a sec and i did but i also have to admit it's got some flaws Just Thing was impressive the game ghost? looked and sounded great the voice yeah. acting was on point and the story while I mean, not yeah. entirely that's a really old, that thing that took a place of my camera is a really old, I'll have to look at it later. That's a really old BRB screen. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. It's not supposed to I'll do that. Safe, <laughs> um. And little Bill said to meet him downtown. That's weird. I haven't seen that in years. I heard the audio in my headphones and I was like, what? Where's that coming from? Did I pull up YouTube? Old YouTube videos somehow? Okay, Carlo. <clears throat> shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally run Drive to the parking lot. Okay. Listen, I spend more time with a Don than all of you's put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> <clears throat> if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you coming. The boss said you coming. Just... You got a face like you're being taken for an airing. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Where's Gates so and Morello Wing was? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is going to get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop. A little rusty behind the wheel, Tommy! Yeah, relax. What are you doing? That's why we're pretending to stick him up. And he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. 
He'll convince his old man Umbrello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, <laughs> shut your damn mouth. Ah, uh, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Christ. deals here. Market attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Seems clear so far. Only seems like something's gonna go south. Jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, I mean, of course, something's gonna go wrong. That kind of a job, sure. If the plan isn't to shoot a bunch of people, then something has to go wrong because eventually we to know about Gates we're gonna have to shoot a bunch of people. Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly! Good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well... Oh, I don't trust this guy at all. I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy! Oh, yeah. It's fine. <clears throat> Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <clears throat> What the fuck? No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Somebody's here. Watch it! Yeah, he looks dead. Oh. This ain't as bad as it looks. Now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. No, go, go, go. So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you dead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up. Escort the truck. More of them. Get over here now. Shit. Damn it. 
That's okay. That's okay. We probably hit a checkpoint after the first shootout. I'm really looking forward now to playing the other two and the new one, of course. Um, the other two Mafia games. What's all this? Oh, no. If that would shoot through that or not. I'm shooting the wall. Molotov? No, you fucking don't. See ya. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, that takes care of that. Uh... Put it out? How'd you get down here? Their way through this fence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've already I'm already on it. Oh shit. Is there any medicine? There was some back here a little bit ago. Eh, it's too far now. That's okay. Alright, alright, alright. Good. Good to know. Oh, here we go. I'm right here, man. <clears throat> Talk to Sam. What? What's up? Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Is 
Sam, are you gonna, are you gonna, what was that look? How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Ugh. How am I gonna? I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down. Oh, shit. Okay, well, do we, so, uh... The, so the, the truck did not have much health. Is it gonna have full health now? It better. It better. Surely it will. How yes, good. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Okay, let's slow him down some. Hit him where it hurts. Oh, fuck. Fuck! Shit. Shit! Oh god, it's taking tons of damage. Oh no! Oh god, okay, well shit. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, try again. Hear about my deal. All kinds of beavers in this city. For now, let's get the wow, boys back to the warehouse and try not to die. Oh God, we're already in trouble. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts. Uh, yeah, I hope so. Oh my god, the truck is taking severe damage immediately. We did great that last time. Shit. Careful. Sam's going for the Hooverville. So I guess we are too. Look out, homeless. Coming through, homeless. Tell me we're hit it. We hit a checkpoint at least. Oh god, that might have been us. <laughs> Tell me we hit a checkpoint. Would that is that okay? I bet we didn't. I bet we didn't. God damn. How the hell right. did Morello hear about my deal? Just don't hit a fucking telephone pole immediately, Nick. back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it. We got more guys on us. Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit them where it hurts. All right, that was good. Empty your clip if you're not if you don't have a full clip when you're done with the next car. 
There you go. All right. Up the truck. All right, now that's that was good. That was good. That's a, about as well as we reasonably reasonably probably could have done. Is it taking damage just going through the buildings? Oh, I thought I saw the health thing move just now. Maybe I imagined it. Shoot the fucking... Hey, die, car, please, Jesus. Alright, we're doing okay. Left or right, bro, left or right. For that. Awesome. Yeah, thank Christ indeed. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Good job. It's like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder. But uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo. Saludo. That was a fairly short one. Okay, wow. This one went a little bit longer. That's okay. Uh, that's it for chapters, what, 9 through 12? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Last one was five through eight, and we did four more. Okay. All right, cool. We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you.